Hi there. This is called the Petrosian Folly in the exchange variation of the Queen's Gambit Declined and it was a trap slash mistake that former world champion Tigran Petrosian fell into on only move 7 in an exceptionally common and uncomplicated position against Alexandra Kotov in 1949. And it would be little comfort for Petrosian to learn that well over 100 players have also fallen for it. So after d4, d5, c4 and e6, Queen's Gambit declined, White plays knight c3, and after knight f6, White opts for the exchange variation with c takes on d5. After e takes on d5, bishop g5 and bishop e7. White continues naturally with e3, and in this very common position, black has several moves. The move c6 has been played by Karpov and by Pavel Elyanov. And again, in this position, white has many decent choices. The move queen c2 was the move of preference for Magnus Carlsen and Gary Kasparov. And it's in this position that knight e4 was played by Petrosian. And at first sight, it looks like a simplification line. However, it's a losing move and white clearly wins after bishop takes on e7. Because now after queen takes e7, white obviously doesn't have anything to do with the knight on e4. Rather, knight takes on d5 with a massive advantage for white. Because obviously if c takes on d5, queen takes on c8 where white will be winning. So this has been a trap called the Petrosian Folly in the exchange variation of the Queen's Gambit Decline. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.